and welcome to this video in which I'll be reacting to the Netherlands song for Eurovision 2024 Europapa by Joost Klein. A disclaimer. I hadn't addressed this before because I had hoped that the EBU would come to the correct decision by now, but since they have not, I do need to address it myself. Israel should not be allowed to participate at the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. If Russia hadn't been banned in 2022, maybe we'd be having a different conversation right now, and on a personal note, maybe Eurovision wouldn't have become such an important part of my life, but this is the reality that we are living in, so this is the conversation that we are having. Regardless of what you think of the current atrocities happening in Gaza, intentionally cutting off other people's access to food, water and electricity is abhorrent, not to mention the act of killing. If you think governments and broadcasters should be considered as separate entities, consider the situation with Russia again. There is a video explaining why Israel shouldn't be allowed to participate linked in the description, and the creator also calls to action about what you can do yourself. Please watch that video and do something. Further resources are also listed as and when they become relevant. I'll stop talking about this when it stops being relevant. This is maybe one of the most hyped artists of the year, or maybe I'm just making that up, I don't know. I know who Joost Klein is because of the song Friesenjung that was all over Germany, in my opinion, in the summer. But when I ask my German acquaintances, they don't really know him. So maybe I'm just making that up, but it was all over my social media in, in the, the summer, even though it's not necessarily my kind of music. It's cool to have another established artist at Eurovision. Or freshly established, I would say. I don't know. I haven't heard of him before the summer, so very much freshly established. And he really was campaigning to go to Eurovision. This year he met Karia and he was posting everywhere that he wants to go to Malmö for the Netherlands. It worked out, so we'll have Joost Klein singing Europapa. That's how I'm choosing to pronounce it. I don't think I can pronounce it Europapa or something. I think it sounds really way too posh and pretentious with a British accent, so I will just keep saying Europapa. Maybe he says it with this song and I can stand corrected. I'm pretty curious. From what I know of Joost Klein, it will be a crazy kind of rap thing, so I'm up for that. And I'm intrigued to see what language it will be in, or languages, what the actual context of the song is, because I've heard it's a tribute to his parents who have, I believe, both passed away. Well, the camera decided to die and Robin decided to go up there, or not. Well, I changed the framing anyway. I've changed the battery just now, so let's react to the song now. Europe. Okay. Europe, Papa, okay. That's some interesting visuals so far. Okay, so it's Dutch. Okay, okay. it's so interesting. There's a mini Joel Klein. And I think I've seen there's an old Joel Klein as well. There we go. Always in the same room. Is he saying welcome to Europe? Stay here until you're dead? Is there some interesting sound effects? How can you recreate that at Eurovision? Or can he just sing it? I feel like I want to pause it because there were just so many languages there. German, Italian, there was about escargot and fish and chips. And now it looks very Dutch again. With the windmill. This is so interesting. <laughs> I can't. I'm not sure I can get full sentences out because I'm mostly just confused. Welcome in Europa, Europa Juma. Okay. And then there's a dance break. How exciting. I truly do not know how Joel Kain dances. That would be interesting. 
see what is happening on stage at this point. Because there's now no more lyrics for the last like 30 seconds. sincere note that's also something I did not expect from this song very sincere note wow I'm a little bit in shock I'm not gonna lie that's not really what I expected from this song at all I'm both confused as to it being less chaotic than I expected ending on a sincere note and yet somehow also more chaotic than I expected so it's like Uro Papa Something like that is what the actual title is. There's a couple lines in German, a couple lines in Italian, then there's references to uh, Scargo and fish and chips. I didn't catch a reference to Spain. Maybe he's just trying to appeal to all of the big five. I obviously don't actually know Dutch, and I wonder if he is saying, Welcome to Europe, stay here till you're dead. If that's the main hook of the chorus, other than Oro Baba, Oro Baba. Have a look. Until I die. Well, there was Paella. Oh, and there's a reference to Stromé. I did not hear that either. There's a reference to Poland as well. Vienna. We got Poland, Austria, Netherlands, France, England, Italy, Spain, Germany covered. Must be more than 60% of the population of Europe or something. Because I think Poland is like the sixth or seventh largest country currently participating at Eurovision. That's an interesting tactic, mentioning so many countries. Will everyone hear that though? Will the visuals make it clear enough? Because I did not hear the reference to Poland and maybe he's just saying Poland in Dutch and then I didn't know necessarily what that is but maybe also the visuals were overwhelming me of the music video. Maybe it'll be easier to spot on stage. I have no idea. The meaning of the song is very nice. That he promised his parents that he'll make it to the Eurovision stage and now he has. And obviously with the contest being called Eurovision, this is what everyone will be expecting. So maybe the rest of the world vote will go for this. Papa means bye bye in Polish, so that's also kind of relevant to stay here until I die, I guess, in the kind of macabre way. See, this I don't even know what to expect from the staging. I imagine it will be crazy and make lots of use of the LEDs to drop us in different locations around Europe. That's what I'm expecting myself. And maybe in the sincere moment there'll be photos of him and his parents, or just his dad, because it's called Udo Papa. Who knows? I think I was expecting more crazy. Not just because it ends on a more sincere note, also because it didn't feel as chaotic as I expected it to. It felt like an almost normal sounding song with some voice effects. I think it's cool. It's maybe a better executed version of Georgia 2020. I don't think it's worked on me as much as I hoped it would. I don't think it's gonna start out in my top 10, unfortunately, because I think I like the general premise. I just, upon first listen, don't quite understand the execution fully but that's hey, okay not every song needs to be for me now i'm almost concerned if this can qualify i think it will i think he mentions too many countries and will look too funny to not but i'm not as confident as i was this morning before the song was even released so that's a worrying thing usually you want people to be more confident that you can qualify after you release your song than before genuinely really really like the ideas and having this mix of languages in the lyrics is also a very nice touch but by virtue of it being a three minute song, unless you're just listing them, you can't name something from every single country. And I don't think that's so great either. I do like that there's lyrics in four languages. That's something I would love to see more of at Eurovision. That's something that's very entertaining to me. Even if it's just very short lines in German and Italian. There's some English. Am I making things up? I don't know. I do wish Dolce Klein all the best because after his social media campaign and his true story about wanting to go to Eurovision, I think it'd be a real shame if he didn't make it to the grand final. I am just less confident now than I was before the song was released, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. I still don't think it's a no, not by any means. It's definitely still in the running. I just don't quite get it on my first listen. But with many songs, I kind of do get it as I listen more and more. Maybe I'll even get it more and more as I start editing the video. Just initially, it hasn't hit me, unfortunately. On that slightly dire note, <laughs> thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that goes something out of it. I will see you in the next one and that shows up on your feed. Bye! My headache is not letting me concentrate. Apologies.